Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brandon here with Roadrunner Sports and today I'm reviewing the Adidas Solar Glide 19. All right, so here we have the Solar Glide 2019. So this came out earlier this year around May. So this came out about two months ago. Um, I've been running in the shoe for about three weeks. I've got about seven runs in them. Um, I've done short distance, medium distance, long distance, and now I have some thoughts for you. So I'm gonna go through the tech of this, the tech of the shoe first, and then I'm gonna go through the performance of it. So first we'll start off with the price. This is, comes in at $139.95. So for a cool $140, you can get this shoe with a ton of boost in it. And um, yeah, it'll take you where you need and it'll do all the things that you need it to do really well in this shoe. I would say that this is a really solid shoe um, where it shines the most, I would say, is in that longer middle range run to your shorter long runs. That's where I would use this. So more of a daily trainer. All right, so we'll go through the uh, tech of the shoe first. If starting with the upper, let me get the sun right. You see all these lines that come across? Those are actually um, breathability like strips and uh, panels for flexibility. So they took the inspiration from that, from NASA engineering, the way a space glove works, the way uh, it's segmented to where the fingers can bend with digits. So they basically took the same inspiration of that technology and put it in the shoes here. So you have a really flexible upper and it actually offers a lot of breathability there too. I would say that the shoe doesn't run too hot, which is really good because it's sunny and uh, it tends to be hot where I'm running. So I really like that about the shoe. I never felt like my foot was overheating. Um, I never felt any rough abrasion points on the edges or on the toes either. And speaking of that, the shoe does run true to size. The shoe runs true to size. So I'm a size 12. I wear a running shoe size 12 as well and it fits without a problem. Um, we have a good bit of rig rigidity in the toe. So it's not super soft like a uh, prime knit upper of like the Ultra Boost. So it gives you that good room for your toe to fit in there. I found that with the Ultra Boost, sometimes the prime knit can pull. So you have to kind of size up there. Um, you have good lateral support with the, uh, with the three stripes. They actually have some built-in support systems there. So when you're doing your lateral support, you're gonna be fine. I wouldn't use this for a cross training shoe where you're gonna be doing like shuttle runs like back and forth. Um, I don't think it has that much support, but for when you're on your everyday runs, you're gonna have lateral support. That compounded with the, uh, the guide rails here on the side. So there on the side, you have guide rails, which also are gonna give you that extra support. Um, Adidas has really taken that step with their technology where instead of putting the stability inside the, the post, they're really giving you guide rails to allow you a lot more of like flexibility while still keeping you stable so you're not spilling over the shoe as well as like when you're taking turns your foot isn't like sliding off of the platform of the midsole and creating that so that's what the guide rails are going to do for you real like that and my favorite part about the adidas shoes that have been coming out recently is seeing the heel counter it's super soft and squishy it's actually like um there's it's not a rock solid heel counter like you have here on the sides which is good enough to keep you in adidas to keep weight down and just via technology found that you can actually leave this open it gives you some flexibility in the achilles which is actually really nice when i did my initial review of these i did a um i did an instagram live and i i wasn't sure how to feel about it um when i first did it, i was like yeah well you got a little bit of room when you step it feels kind of like a bungee being pulled back and pushing you forward but now that i've ran in it a bunch of more times i actually really like it i feel kind of free in the shoe and I feel like I'm able to just kind of, I don't know, it really doesn't affect anything. It just kind of feels nice. So I would say the heel counter is a big plus. Um, I would say Adidas should keep doing it in shoes to come. Um, let me know what you guys think if you've ran a shoe with this type of heel counter. I really, I don't know how the people feel about it, but I know that I like it. Um, obviously we have a really big boost midsole and it's gonna give you all that flexible or that cushiony response that we love with the boost. Um, I don't think it's too much. Some people do. I don't. I love it. And here on the outsole, continental rubber and the torsion system, once again, to help with the side to side movements. So back to performance or starting with performance. I love it. I love the shoe. I love it for those long, medium runs and for those short, long runs. Uh, this shoe is kind of that in between shoe that you're going to use for your daily training, where if you do your medium run, you're like, you know what? This boost is making my legs still feel good. I, my legs don't feel tired. Uh, it wasn't quite a recovery run, but I feel like I got a little more in me. The shoe is kind of the one that lets you keep going. Um, if you're running in like 
a lower cushion system, kind of like uh, the Boston where it's got maybe just this much boost, not that much. Um, it's, it's not gonna take you there. This is the one that like is gonna give you those extra miles. So if you're not pushing yourself super hard and you're just going through your daily training and you're not maxing out your PRs, this is the shoe for you. If you want your PRs, obviously you get a lighter weight, maybe a lower cushion level shoe that's gonna be quicker for you. But this is that daily trainer. Um, like I said, there's no really hot spots or abrasions on the shoe when you're doing your turns and your rotations, your lateral movements. Um, it fits really snug, really true to size, but not too tight like the Prime that I mentioned. And uh, the Prime is not too tight, by the way. It's just versus this shoe. You use them for different things. And the, uh, the, the Ultra Boost, I would say, size up half the size. Uh, but with this one, true to size, feels really great. And I really enjoy running in it. I think it looks good. It's a nice stylish shoe. I'm actually gonna keep wearing it after I run. Usually it's a good transitional shoe as well. So we keep doing that. All right guys, so go ahead and check this shoe out. Join Roadrunner Sports VIP and you'll actually get to test run this shoe for 90 days. Your 90 day test run is gonna allow you to run the shoe for up to 90 days. Make sure it's the right shoe for you. And if it's not, you actually can bring it back and we'll get you a better shoe that fits your needs. You actually also get full exchange or full refunds up to 60 days as well. So not only do you have the added guarantee that if this isn't the shoe for you, we're gonna get you in the right one. You have basically no risk to try the shoe out. So order it online from us. With VIP, you get free shipping as well and your 90 day test run. Um, and if you don't like it, send it back to us. So go ahead, let us know what you think about the Adidas Solar Glide in the comments and uh, we'll be answering all your questions. So thanks for tuning in, see ya.